G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a curious grade 10 problem. Jacob uses the following procedure to write down a sequence of numbers. First he chooses the first term to be 6, okay? To generate each succeeding term, he flips a fair coin. If it comes up head, he doubles the previous term and subtracts 1. If it comes up tails, he takes half of the previous term and subtracts 1. I'm kind of lost right now. Okay, but I'll keep reading. What is the probability that the fourth term in Jacob's sequence is an integer? All right, so what's going on here? I, I just, I read that. I know I read it. But I said the words, but I didn't quite get it in my head. So Jacob is doing something. He's writing down a sequence of numbers. He starts with the number six. So he starts with the number six. And then he flips a coin to get the next number in the sequence, the next number, the next number, and so on. All right, all right. And if it comes up heads, he apparently doubles the number and subtracts one to get the next term. And if it comes up tails, what does he do? He halves the number and then subtracts one. And what's the question? What is the probability the fourth, num fourth number in a sequence, so the first, second, third, fourth number is an integer? All right, all right. I'm definitely having an emotional reaction to this question. In fact, I've got two of them. My first re reaction is, why on earth is Jacob doing this? I guess my second reaction is, I guess it's not for me to know, I'm stuck with this question. Um, it feels too complicated. There's, there's too much going on. I have to get to the fourth term and figure out when it's an integer. So what are we going to do? Um, well, like at least, you know, we know the first number is 6. I mean, the, the second number, if he gets a head or he get a tail, is going to be determined by what's going on here. So if he gets a head, what is it? Double it and subtract 1. Double 6 is 12, subtract 1 means the next number will be 11 in a sequence if he gets a head. And if he gets a tail, it'll be half it, yep, and subtract 1. Half of 6 is 3, subtract 1 is 2. All right, so the second number in the sequence is either 2 or 11. They're both integers. Maybe everything stays integers. Well, I guess it's not much work to go just one more step. Uh, from 11, he either gets a head or a tail. If he gets a head, he doubles it and subtracts 1. 22, that's 21. If he gets a tail, he halves it. Oh, now we get into fractions. 5 and a half, subtract 1 is 4 and a half. All right, so there's a possibility that he's not going to get integers in the end. Well, I don't know what to do. I actually don't know what to do in this question. It just seems too complicated. I'm going to have, you know, branch of 4, 16 or something possible. I don't know how many possibilities I'm going to get. Too much going on. Well, you know what? Maybe I can just continue this tree. Maybe I can just adopt strategy number seven, which is perseverance is key. Let me just persevere. After two, maybe, if he gets a head, he gets a tail, I can ask what's going to happen next. Double it and add one, uh, subtract one, so double it is three. Or halve it, one, subtract one is zero. Oh, actually, look, first, second, third. Oh, I only have to go one more step. I can do that. In fact, you can do it too. Why don't you go one more step and see the possibilities of what uh, Jacob's fourth number could be. And then maybe we can actually answer the question, which was, because I've forgotten the question already, what is the probability that the fourth term in Jacob's sequence is an integer? Yep, I bet I'm going to have some integers and non-integers here. I feel like that's now reachable, and it's not too much work. So go for it. See what you get, and compare your answer with mine, because actually there is something subtle that goes on with this question as well, an extra little, little bend. So try it out, and see what you think of that bend. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.